Hi, and welcome to the course Advanced VMware vRealize Operations Manager. This course is being delivered by Scott Norris and Christopher Slater. This course dives into the more advanced functionalities of vRealize Operations Manager, allowing you to really dive in and start using it to improve capacity management, alerting, notifications, and general dashboards and consumption of vRealize Operations Manager. This course will be split up into multiple sections. The first section will be on alert and symptoms. In this, we'll cover off what are symptoms, what are alerts, how do they work together, recommendations, as well as actions, and how they tie into it. The second section is on supermetrics. In this, we'll have a look at what supermetrics are, how do we use supermetrics, and lastly, how can we create them. In the next section, we'll be looking at groups and applications. Groups and applications in VROPS, similar, but very different. And we'll have take a look at what groups are, how we use groups, and where we use groups or applications. Next, we have basic dashboard design. In this, we'll cover a static dashboard, we'll have a look at the widget overview, and we'll go through a step-by-step -step guide of creating a very simple dashboard. The next section is on importing custom data. Importing custom data is very handy when we don't have a solution to get the data for us. We'll have a look at how, we'll have a look at the REST API, we'll have a look at creating these objects and then adding metrics to them using PowerShell scripts. And finally, we'll look at destroying the object after we've done. The next section is working with relationships. In here, we'll have a look at what relationships are, how they can benefit us, how we can create them through the UI, as well as how we can create them and take advantage of the REST UI. Then we've got advanced dashboard design. In here we'll take a look at why we'd want to do an advanced dashboard or an interactive dashboard. We'll have a look at metric config, which is used to create the dashboards in a dynamic way. And we'll actually go through the step-by-step -step of creating a simple interactive dashboard. We'll allow you the building blocks to go on and build more advanced ones. After that, we have notifications. In this section, we're going to have a look at the type of notifications we have, how can we configure notifications, and then using alerts to trigger events in VRO, allowing proactive steps to be taken in event of an alert. And finally, we'll have a look at troubleshooting. We'll have a look at where the logs are located, what to generally look for if there's an issue, and steps to try if there is a problem in your environment. 